All right, what's good YouTube? I'm Visual and welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by on the screen and by the title today, I'm gonna to be ranking some Assassin's Creed video games. So recently I just uploaded the first part to my Assassin's Creed 3 playthrough. So go check that out if you want to. But it inspired me. I did a Call of Duty ranking tier list in the past and I figured, you know, why might as well do one for Assassin's Creed. Obviously Mirage is coming around the corner. Super excited for that. Super. How do y'all feel about that by the way? Do you think Mirage is gonna be good or not? I have. I feel like it's gonna be good, but I feel like the gameplay is gonna be a little bit too close to this new RPG style still. Like the parkour and stuff looks cool, but just like the core of the gameplay, I feel like it's still gonna be a little bit too Odyssey Valhalla-ish, you know what I mean? Minus all the magic, but anyway, I'm getting off topic. We're gonna to be ranking every single Assassin's Creed, pretty much every single one. I'm pretty sure all the ones on this, on this tier maker are, or all of them. Actually, let me go ahead and put these in order. One second. Is this in order? I might have messed up this. Um, I think Liberation came after Black Flag. All right, so we got AC1, 2, Brotherhood Revelations, AC3, Black Flag, Liberation, Row, Unity, Syndicate, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. Look at my tears. These are ugly. All right, we got Classic. We got Dope Game. We do this kind of cool. Kind of cool. Actually. Kind of cool. Let's delete two. Dog. All right, we got dog meat. You got never played. Or matter of fact, not even never played. Wasn't interested. Boom, so we got classic dope game. Kind of cool dog meat and wasn't interested so let's get started with ac1 now it's the first one of the first one of the series obviously great game but let's let's really think about it altair great character you know got to see the intro of desmond and his story but the gameplay loop was so stagnant and it was so repetitive i can't give it a classic tag if i do it's just nostalgia that's just my opinion if you disagree with any part of this video, timestamp it and leave a comment down below. I'm just curious. Don't be toxic though. Let's all let's let's be let's be, you know what I'm saying? Like chill on me, bro. All right, so we got AC1. I'm gonna put you in dope game, not classic, not classic dope game. I think I went back and replayed it a couple years ago, and just going mission to mission with with the whole like the same exact gameplay loop. Like I was like, what was I so interested for back in the day? I guess it was just my first foray into like some real stealthy stuff. But anyway, so now we got AC2. What did you think? What did you think? Assassin's Creed 2 classic. I think this list is going to have a, it's going to have a couple classics. We'll see. AC2 most definitely. Ezio is, in my opinion, probably one of the best characters in gaming, like ever. I mean, the man got a trilogy. I don't think any other character got a trilogy. Not even Altair got a trilogy. Like, come on. But yeah, uh, AC2, just that first intro scene where you're, you're like a teenage or like a young adult Ezio and you're fighting on the bridge or wherever that fight was. But that first fight, I was like, oh, this man is, he, he different, bro. And the whole, the whole, the whole world felt alive. And yeah, AC2 was the perfect sequel to a game. So AC1 was very basic and it was very um like condensed, but AC2 built off of that so well. And I feel like that game, like if they fully remastered it or remade it, it sell, it sell buku numbers. Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. <sighs> so obviously this is a top tier game, but do I want to do classic or for me it's a classic. I'll just do for me, of course. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Man, I I probably have so many hours on that. I played this on 360 though, but the fact that you can like recruit assassins and you know you can like have them assassinate people from the from the skies and they just come out and box with you like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was fire it was definitely fire obviously building on Ezio's story building on Desmond's story more it kind of flushed out that whole like all the the present day characters a lot and then kind of connected it all with what was going on in the animus that's what Assassin's Creed is missing now and I'll probably talk about it later but damn <laughs> stupid but yeah, like, I feel like the need for a present day timeline keeps Assassin's Creed rooted in like reality almost. Like it feels real when you're playing it. Like 
when you're playing as these, as these assassins, it feels like you have purpose, you know? Yeah, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, that's classic. The gameplay was fire, characters fire, story fire, story fire, story fire. That's definitely a classic. Assassin's Creed Revelations, this one was kind of, this one kind of hurt me. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking about it before I started recording the video. But Assassin's Creed Revelations, man. I feel like it did not do justice to Ezio's, like, to his character and his, and his send-off. Obviously, he was old. You know, we know how the story ended. It's not even necessarily need for a spoiler. I do think Revelations tied into Assassin's Creed 1 really well. So, like, Revelations was a good end to the sequel of Assassin's Creed 1, you know what I mean? Just the overall story felt a little recycled to, uh, from Brotherhood, minus the, minus like the last couple hours of the story, at least for me, because the whole beginning of it is kind of like you pick up, not even pick up where you left off, but it's more so, it didn't really build on, on the events that happened in Brotherhood. You were kind of just like, older and you need to do this thing before it's ultimately like before you pass away like that's what i that's what i got of it but because the story tied so well back into assassin's creed one the ending the ending was consumable you know it was consumable it wasn't it was consumable though because he had that album on me dang i was talking didn't even rank it i think revelations is kind of cool it's kind of cool I wouldn't put it a dope game for me. Like I said, these are just my opinions. Assassin's Creed 3, and that's the game that I'm currently playing on my channel. The reason why I'm replaying it, obviously I played it before. The reason why I'm replaying it now, not just because they have the remastered version, but Connor was cold, bro. He's probably, besides Ezio, because Ezio's like an anomaly, Connor might be my favorite assassin. Between him or Bayek, I'll talk about Bayek of Siwa later, but connor was fire his little his like dual hatchets that he had his tomahawks or whatever clean just the, the the way that they built out the world a lot more you know you had the forest gameplay they were so heavy on the fact that you can jump through trees kind of looking back on it it's funny because it's every tree is clearly placed as a path right it's not really just open like it's kind of linear but at the time it was fire like we're in the forest climbing through trees and honey and all that stuff Assassin's Creed 3 was fire I personally can't say it's a classic because the and the only reason why I say this and I'm coming I'm, I'm re-realizing it now that intro prologue with Haytham with Connor's father is so long bro it is just it, it just it's just too long I, I can't do it as you progress through the story like on first playthrough you kind of understand why it was like that or kind of like the significance of it but I don't know. It was just, it was too dragged out. You know what I mean? I think that's just what it was. It was too dragged out. But when you got into the Connor, like the Connor portion of the story, amazing, amazing. And the present day, the present day took place in 2012. Do, where were y'all in 2012? Do you remember? Are some of y'all too young? Oh my gosh. If you were born during 2012, you're 11 years old. Jesus. But I just remember how much this game, like it was building on all this hype. You know, you had the movie 2012. You had everybody on like the conspiracy theories and everything. And then this game came out and just built on that. Had me tweaking as a kid, bro. I'm putting Assassin's Creed 3 as dope game. That was a dope game for sure. And these are where the dislikes, let me get a sip of water, man. So if somebody ends up actually, if, 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 if you are watching this, go ahead and timestamp right now. Get your timestamp ready. Now listen, it's, no, I'm kidding. It's not dog meat. Black flag. <sighs> I'm not a pirate. I'm really not. I'm really not. I'm not a pirate. The pirate gameplay in this, obviously at the time, was super innovative. You know, Black Flag was able to utilize the, the Xbox One and the PS4 because those consoles were new. And it was cool for some people, but it was just, it turned me off so much, bro. Like, I don't even know why, because I think the story was good. Like, obviously this is Connor's lineage, so you kind of got to see kind of his trials and tribulations that got passed down ultimately. Do I say thank you? Justin the game? I'm not even streaming, I'm recording. How is those up? Appreciate you with the, with the, <laughs> what was I saying, bro? Damn. Justin, bro, you messed me up, bro. I was about to start cooking with Ultimate Grease. Black Flag. Black Flag. <clears throat> the pirate gameplay, wasn't really a fan of it. The story was cool. The, uh, I think I had good DLC. I forget the name of it with the, 
the one where you're slave going against the slave masters and stuff that was cool actually on a, on a real note i think this is one of the first assassin's creed where the present day doesn't include desmond like you're kind of like i think you're in like some office like abstergo's office or something like that that turned me off too because i was so drawn to the present day story and obviously i knew desmond died at the end of assassin's creed 3 but just not having like an actual playable character in the present day like and it was in first person i think it was just weird it was weird so for me in my opinion like i said leave your timestamp. i already know y'all just just don't just, just you know no nah. if you like black flag i'm super happy for you i know a lot of people a lot of y'all have it up here right this where y'all got it not me bro it was kind of cool it was kind of cool kind of cool now liberation i think did this game come out on handheld i think it came out on handheld at the time i wasn't really interested and if it didn't then i just didn't play it but damn but yeah liberation not too much to talk about there i knew it was in like the uh the bayou like the i'm about to say the bay area down towards like louisiana and stuff like i said i wasn't really interested assassin's creed road i didn't i never beat this game but let me tell you y'all can be mad again i played it i played it and i probably played a cool 40 percent of the game 35 40 45 somewhere in that area the fact that you're a templar bro and you expect me to kill my brothers my assassins you got me twisted there's just no way when they were marketing this is what it's like to be on the other side like i'm not going for that bro like i'm already knee deep into the brotherhood i'm an assassin through and through i had the hood like i'm really about that and you want me to play as in uh, 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 as as the op i'm about to get passionate there's just no way i wasn't interested it was a cool concept you know what i mean like and i'm pretty sure a lot of people loved it like the ones who like riding the fence like no like not me i wasn't interested respectfully i wasn't interested all right now this is where things get interesting this is where things really get interesting because now we're in the more the more modern the current day assassin's creed starting with unity the original the original four like we're done with that we're on we're on a whole new whole new assassin's creed in unity i'm gonna be real I want to put it in classic. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it in dope game, and here's why. If we're talking about a game on launch that is not buggy, didn't take a crazy long time to patch, and got more consistent patches, this is 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 a classic. It's really a classic because the parkour was fire. I don't know if y'all play co-op. Speaking of which, co-op in the early Assassin's Creed were fire. I wish they'd bring that back. But Assassin's Creed Unity's parkour was fire. The online was fire the whole choose your path as far as the assassinations you know you can either like lock pick and go through this little tunnel and go or you can go from the skies or you can just like try to take everybody out like you can kind of like choose your own path on how you want to you know tackle the assassination and the whole like corny romeo and juliet stuff you know I, I i like that i thought it was cool and obviously i think uh old girl's dad was a templar or something something crazy whatever happened in the story i haven't played through the story in some time but the actual core mechanics of the gameplay when it's working when it's not buggy you gotta admit it's 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 up there with the classic it might be like right under where where a classic is but because it you know that happened you can't deny that the game came out buggy and it still runs like crap on pc it, it it's still at least for me and i don't have a bad pc but it doesn't run that good for me but because of all that i put it in dope game but let's really think about it. let's have a conversation it could have been there at least say that much it could have been there. all right so now we got assassin's creed syndicate evie and jacob fry hmm. it was really cool on Watch Dogs legion you can actually do like a, a side mission with one of the assassin recruits for dead sec and you can kind of see the tomb of jacob and evie that was fire i really liked assassin creed syndicate when it came out it didn't have too much replay value but the gameplay loop was satisfying enough to where i felt like i can continue playing like yeah i'll load this game back up and play for a couple hours at a time but it just didn't age well which is really weird because the parkour wasn't bad you kind of had <clears throat> damn you kind of had two characters so you had jacob and evie so jacob was kind of like the brute character and his sister evie was the more sly stealthy character so i really used her mostly i didn't use jacob unless the mission forced me to to be honest but i feel like the game didn't really build on that sibling dynamic it was just kind of like 
they were button heads, but they had a bigger purpose. But I feel like with Assassin's Creed and the incredible writing before, I mean, like I said, Unity had great writing, AC3. I mean, Assassin's Creed 1's story was great, even if the gameplay wasn't the, the most polished at the time. But pretty much every story before Syndicate was really solid. So I don't really know if they had different writers or writer strike i don't know what happened but the story didn't really grasp me so i'm gonna have to put you i can't say it's dog meat i can't i can't i gotta put it in kind of cool i'm gonna put you in kind of cool assassin's creed origins i was waiting for this one i was waiting for this one i actually streamed this Probably like a year or something, maybe like a year ago or something. I just streamed me playing this one random day. I had COVID. I remember I was like, I'll just fire up the stream and play this. I beat this game maybe three or four times. It's a long game, but each time I beat it, I had over like 80 to 90 hours clocked on the game. That's almost 270 hours of just playing one game. That's crazy. I know y'all probably like, I have 900 hours on the game. Congratulations, but I have stuff to do. You feel what I'm saying? But Assassin's Creed Origins, on, on a real note, was it was the first RPG style Assassin's Creed, which at the time people were excited about because it was a shift from what we kind of knew as Assassin's Creed. But we also didn't know what we were getting into with the two games that came after it. But kind of seeing the origin story of Assassin's Creed, knowing that it came out of Egypt, them exploring Egyptian mythology over the Greek mythology, like Egyptian, uh, Egyptian mythology trumps Greek mythology, in my opinion, because all the, the gods and goddesses and they're just more interesting. You know what I mean? The, the, those characters are a little bit more compelling. The fact that all the, the assassination targets were built off of Egyptian mythology, that was cool. And yeah, it was just a, I mean, the game is named Origins for a reason. It was a great origin story. Like I was compelled. You kind of got the, you got a real taste of what Bayek and, and his girl, I can't think of the name right now, but you got to explore their relationship and you even got to play as her at one point for, for maybe like a little chapter or like an act or whatever. But yeah, Bayek was a great character. He was a great character. Egypt was a dope map. It was definitely a little bit too open. It was way different than what we've seen before, but they kind of, they, they made it all cohesive. If you go out too far, you start hallucinating, you might come across this mythological guy that's trying to kill you or something like just some random stuff so they even made the openness and like the sand dunes everything felt alive in that game and when traveling location to location you kind of got to see different not necessarily biomes but different cultures within egypt you got the the rich you know the hierarchy that's the word that i'm thinking of you have like the rich aristocrats all the way down to the slums and you kind of got to see everything in between yeah that, that game was fire i personally personally origins is a classic you gotta put some respect on his name like like i said it was the first of its of its kind as far as rpg style game it felt rooted like it still felt like an assassin's creed but he got his he got the he got the finger chopped off like what we talking like he's really him bayek is really him i don't necessarily think bayek is like an s tier character necessarily he's he definitely a a a a, a at the least but S tier, no, but the story and the location, the gameplay, I have to put it in classic. The parkour was really smooth when you could parkour though. That was the only thing because the game was so massive, you really couldn't get that classic Assassin's Creed parkour like you could in the other ones. But I mean, other than that, it was fire. Now these last two are gonna be quick. I don't know what my recording is at, but let me tell you, the video is almost over for sure. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, that game, it's like it took Assassin's Creed Origin and, he, and it was just like, okay, get rid of that Egyptian crap. Let's go straight to Greece and just blow the map up times 100,000. Like the map might have not been that much bigger than Origins, but the fact that you had to travel by sea and you have freaking pirate fights all the way to it just I, it just didn't grasp me I'm, I'm i'm not i'm not i'm gonna be real like i could not beat this game i think i've tried four or five times and i get to the same i get to like 20 percent in and i'm just i'm like it's just too much to do all the side questing and i'm somebody who likes to explore every nook and cranny of a video game so when the game is just that there's just that much to do it turns me off more than makes me want to play because I want to do every side quest and I want to level up 
as much as I can before I go on to the next main quest. That's what I want to do. And Odyssey was like, well, I'll give you 100 of those to do. And by the time I get to mission three, I've been playing for 30 hours. Like, I can't do it. That's just me. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. I'm going to rename this. That's tough. It is. In Valhalla. Now, this one, I don't. So, it's down here. Let me tell you. It's going to be one of these. I don't know if I want to put it in wasn't interested or that's tough because it was about the same. I Well, yeah, I'm going to put it in wasn't interested only because because this isn't a, necessarily a bad column, but I don't have enough playing time on Valhalla or a desire to play it to where I want to be interested in the game. Like I wanted them to stray away from the Odyssey type of game. And when they didn't, I was like, I'm I'm chalked like I can't. Now, the cool thing that we get is Basim from who is like a side character in Valhalla. Obviously, he's going to be the main character in Assassin's Creed Mirage in Assassin's Creed Mirage. So I'm super excited about that. But yeah, Valhalla, it just took the whole like you want to be a pirate or you want to be a Viking. Like I'm I want to be an assassin. That's what I want to be in the Assassin's Creed, bro. I don't want to be the Minnesota Vikings, nor do I want to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, bro. I want to be an assassin. It's just that simple. And so, yeah, this is my list. But yeah, if y'all did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know your opinion. How would you rate these? Like, you know, this is just how I feel. I don't, my word isn't law. It's just how I'm feeling. Let me know what y'all think. Is my list valid or not? And yeah, if you want me to rate any other game series, let me know down in the comments and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.